I'd like to introduce the basic use of Magic PHP page objects to create HTML5 pages. So I start with a small project here. In the root, I have an index.php file. This is what we're looking at. I've got two folders, one called libs, one called styles. Inside libs, I keep my copy of Magic PHP. So in order to use it, I need to include it in my index. So include ones, libs, magic 1.5.php. To create a page object, I make a variable page that holds a new page object. To uh, output a page to my browser, I simply echo a page as HTML. Let me just save that and take a look in a browser. So not, mu not much to look at just yet. It's a blank page, as you'd expect. The source code, the HTML source code, reveals that the page object creates a valid HTML5 doc type it creates HTML as a root element inside which you have a head and a body. Inside the head, there's a char set, a meter tag that defines a char set, a character set of UTF-8, and there is an empty title element. Now to have a not empty title element, I go back to my PHP code And I tell the page that I've already got that I want a title for it. Let's make a well, let's make a test title. So there's this method title, and whatever I write inside the parentheses, inside double quotes, will be passed to the page title. Save refresh and there it is there is the title test title and if I inspect the source code of the HTML page you'll notice that the words test title are nested inside the title tags here I'd also like to put some content inside the body to do that back to PHP back to index so page body, let's pass an H1, hello world. So body works very much like the title. Whatever I pass here will be nested inside the body element just like the test title was, known, was nested inside the title element. Let me save, take a look. There is my hello world, and the external source code shows an H1 nested inside the body element. <clears throat> if you call body, the body method, several times, you will have several elements. Blah, blah. Save, refresh my browser. There it is. First, the H1, hello world. Next, a paragraph, blah, blah. And there you have it in HTML code. H1, hello world, paragraph, blah, blah. Now, with this very simple but well formed HTML5 page in place, I'd like to style it with some CSS. In my project, You'll notice I've already got a styles folder inside which I've got a design.css file. It holds one design rule, one style rule. It selects body and set a background of red. So it's a very basic design. Ready just here to demonstrate how to connect a page to a style sheet. 
So I used the CSS method of page to point to the style sheet I'd like to use. And in this case, I'd like to use the style sheet inside the folder styles with the name design.css. Save that, and I'd like my page to turn red. And there it is. VHTML source code shows me that the CSS method of page creates a link element inside the head. So it creates a link to a style sheet that, and it's looking for a style sheet at, um, at this place in the styles folder and it's looking for design.css exactly as I told it to. So there you have it. Basic use of the Magic PHP page object. You can get your own version of Magic PHP at magic-php.net forward slash downloads. Thanks for watching.